Hi, my name's Wendy Capewell and today I'm going to be talking about people pleasing. It's something that people don't really recognize straight away that they're doing it. And so I'm going to talk about Claire today. Claire really didn't realize that that was one of the things that she was constantly doing. But she was so stressed, anxious, and constantly worrying about everything around her and everybody around her. When we started looking at these feelings and where her behaviours towards those around her indicated that she was trying to make it right for everybody else, she realised that that was what was causing her all of these negative feelings, all these worries and making her very, very stressed. So we started looking at, well, where did this come from? Where did these feelings that you've got to fix everybody else and that you've got to make sure everybody else is happy? It seemed that as a child, her mother had been unwell and needed her support, not the, her, her being a mum. So she couldn't be the daughter. She had to look after her mum and be there for her. So she had to make things right for her mum. And as a result, she was always trying to fix things, make sure that mum was okay and that she would be liked as a result of it. She needed to feel that what she was doing was the right thing because otherwise mum might get sick. Well, she was sick, but she would get really, really poorly. So she continued this in her adult life, always looking after other people. She took a job which was in a role of being responsible and caring for others. And her partner, interestingly enough, suffered from generalised anxiety. So she had taken this role on of looking after others and ensuring that she was being there for others and that she would be accepted because of it. Once she identified that, we realised that she realised that she didn't have to be in that role anymore, that she could step back and put herself first, her well-being first. And that she could hand back the responsibility to others for what they were responsible for. She didn't have to be Mrs. Fix-It anymore. I believe truly that most of our behaviours are buried back in the past. They're negative messages or events that happened to us or maybe traumas that we experienced. And as a result, they create those patterns that we follow. We don't have to. And once we identify that we don't have to, from there we can move forward and create better patterns and live a happier life. My name is Wendy Capewell and if you like my help, then get in touch if this is something you'd like to explore further.